transform to solve the initial value problem. So we got a second order ODE and two initial conditions. Okay, so let's take Laplace here on this ODE. Take Laplace transform on the ODE. This differential equation, then we have Laplace of y double prime plus 4 Laplace of y equals, so we got two terms, so Laplace of sine t minus Laplace of this product, which is unit step function times sine t minus 2 pi, okay. From the formula list we know that Laplace of y double prime is this s is square Laplace of y, we can write uppercase y minus s y 0 minus y prime 0, okay, Laplace of y double prime plus 4 Laplace of y, 4 Laplace of y, we are denoting by uppercase y, yes, uppercase y, yes, equals, in the right side we got Laplace of sine t, again from the formula list we know that Laplace of sine t is 1 over s square plus 1, minus, so this is a product, but we have unit step function. So all we have to do is take the Laplace of sine of t minus 2 pi, t minus 2 pi, okay. They match, that means it's kind of good news for us. You know, when we have u t minus something, a, and a function, which is also t minus a, and when we take Laplace, uh, from the this one we get e to the negative a s, and this one, since t minus a, t minus a, we take Laplace of simply of t. So t minus a plus a, which is f t. So in this case, from, the, from this unit step function part, we get e to the negative 2 pi s, okay, t minus a, e to the negative a s. Now we take Laplace of sine t, because negative 2 pi, plus 2 pi, that shift would be just cancelled, so sine t, and Laplace of sine t is like the previous term, 1 over s square plus 1, okay. If, if you can follow this, then you need to go back and review Laplace transform. This is how it works, okay. Now we use the initial conditions, y at 0 equals 0, so this term goes to 0, same here, because of these initial conditions. So from these two terms, we can factor y, which is Laplace of little y, and that leaves s squared plus 4 equals this in the right side. Now we want to isolate y, uh, divide both sides by this factor, that means goes on the bottom, so 1 over s square plus 1 already there and now we are dividing by s square plus 4 minus e to the negative 2 pi s 1 over s square plus 1 already there now we are dividing by this okay uh, in fact we got the same thing same fraction here maybe we want to work on finding inverse Laplace of these two uh, so that we don't have to write twice, or we can write twice. This this is in fact Laplace of little y. Okay. Now when we take inverse Laplace of both sides, we recover this little y. That's our answer because that's what we are asked to find. Solve means find the unknown variable y. So just to simplify our work, because they appear in two places. Uh, we can just let, okay, say some function 
Okay, I'm just letting so that I don't have to work same thing twice. Uh, it's pretty much this fraction. S is squared plus one, S is squared plus four. So we are making these two fractions ready for inverse trans Laplace transform. So it's a product, so we need to write a sum of two simpler fractions called prior school fractions, let's do that. So we let, I'm just working on this fraction, one over S squared plus one, S squared plus four equals S squared plus one, S squared plus four, because these are, these, fact, these two don't factor further. And there is no yes on the top. In general, we, we were supposed to write, okay, degree two means degree one on the top. But there is no yes on the bottom, and we got S squared, S squared in both uniform, so we don't need that. We can just work with A. That's, that works A and B. Okay, if we let this, then now that means we multiply through by the common denominator, so one equals A times S squared plus four plus B times S squared plus one. Now we want to equate coefficients from both sides because no S value makes this thing zero. Okay, this is a S squared plus four A, same thing here. So these two terms have S squared in common, so A plus B, four uh, A plus B just a number 4a plus b i don't have to put parentheses on the left side we got one and we can always add zero times this one now this means zero equals a plus b because we are saying left hand side equals right hand side and one equals this okay a plus b equals zero and 4a plus b equals 1. Now need to solve. So a plus b 0 means what? Uh, b equals, uh, subtract a, negative a. I'm going to plug that in here. So 4a plus b is same as minus a. b is minus a equals 1. 3a equals 1. So A equals one third. So A is one third, so B is negative A. So B equals negative one third. Okay, so now we are able to write this complex fraction. We denoted by G as G, G as that is A over S squared plus one, which is one third over S squared plus one plus b negative one third over s squared plus four in fact this one goes here now we take the inverse laplace i mean that's what we talk here we were supposed to take inverse laplace to get our answer solution and we work on this one we got here uh, let, let's make this ready for inverse Laplace transform. This is one third we can pull to the front. That leaves one over S squared plus one. Oh, one over S squared plus one is Laplace of sine t. So inverse Laplace of this is just sine t, that's good. Minus one third can be pulled to the front and we have one over S squared plus four. If we have two over s squared plus four, that's two means that would be Laplace of sine two t. But there is no two, then how about multiplying by two and divide by two as well? Okay, one half times two is just one. So this is legal. So this is, let me write in this way, one third, this is pretty much Laplace of sine one t minus one sixth Sin, Laplace of 
लेप्लास ऑफ साइन टू टी ओके सो दिस इज हियर बाय द वे दिस फॉर दिस टू सो आई आई एम गोइंग टू गो बैक दस सो लेट मी राइट डाउन वाई वाई उस जीएस व्हिच इज नाउ दिस बिग जंक वन थर्ड लेप्लास ऑफ साइन टी माइनस वन सिक्थ लेप्लास ऑफ साइन टू टी सो दैट इज हियर फॉर द फर्स्ट पार्ट इन फैक्ट वी फाउंड लेप्लास इनवर्स लेप्लास ऑफ दिस आई मीन ऑलमोस्ट देयर माइनस ई टू द नेगेटिव टू पाई एस माइनस ई टू द नेगेटिव टू पाई एस एंड सेम थिंग सेम थिंग मीन्स दिस होल थिंग टाइम्स नाउ वी गैट टू टर्म्स सो लेट मी पुट इन ब्रैकेट सो वन थर्ड लेप्लास ऑफ साइन टी माइनस वन सिक्थ लेप्लास ऑफ साइन टू टी ओके दैट इज वाई we know that upper case y is laplace of little y and our goal is to determine lower case y so we take inverse laplace of both sides last step take inverse laplace of both sides that means we recover the function y and that will be our answer okay so take inverse laplace Oh, these things are clear. So one third Laplace of sine t. Take inverse Laplace means sine t minus one sixth sine two t minus. Now here we got a product, this one and sine Laplace of sine t minus this one. But if we go here and see. we can just compare what we did earlier from going here to here u t minus 2 pi sin same thing t minus 2 pi when we do that this one produces e to the negative whatever that 2 pi s and we only take laplace of sin t which is 1 over s square plus 4 so when we go backward inverse laplace of this one is and sin t but we need to write sin t minus 2 pi to match with this one okay it's a little bit so we might have to review inverse laplace transform so in this case this 1/3 is 1/3 uh this is going to produce this unit step function u t minus 2 pi okay 1/3 let me put d inside okay from this one we get this inside 1/3 we are taking inverse laplace so it's not only sin t because of this product sin t minus 2 pi minus 1/6 uh take the inverse laplace because of this product it's not only sin 2t sin 2 t is t minus 2 pi in fact 2t minus 4 pi and this is this unit step function time this one so so this y this whole junk is the solution of the given of the given ivp okay final <clears throat>